Today we are going to see about sourcing project, how we will be creating a template. And we will also see how event template is also created in this session. Uh, you are able to see my screen, right? Yes, we can see your screen. Yeah, okay. So the first step is like uh, last time we did, we need to go to manage, click on templates. Uh, Sri, sorry to disturb you. Can you please uh, differentiate the uh, events and projects? Okay, that's a good question. That's what I want because I'm not hearing any question. So once uh, you people give me questions, then I will know what level you are able to cope up. Let me share my Word document and I will explain it. Sure. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Okay, so the difference between events and projects. As I mentioned, sourcing request is just an application to create a project or a requisition just to create a project. Then once the sourcing request is approved, we will be going ahead with creating a project. Okay, why we are creating a sourcing project? In order to find right source of supply. So each process, each procurement, each uh, event, we call it as a one full project. In that project contains large details like project details, our attributes, documents, which contains links to event, then tasks where we can give an approval task or review task or a notification task, something like that. Then we also have conditions based on which visibility conditions, conditions or restricting conditions. So that means we are restricting only for certain departments or users. And also we have team members where we will be selecting who is the reviewer, who is the owner, who are all uh, having access to the project. And also we will have notifications. Combinedly, all this is called a project. Okay. Then what is the event? Event is just a single transaction, like which I mentioned here, links to event, a single sourcing transaction, which could be either RFI, RFP, auction. Again, auction will have both the uh, forward sorry first will be the reverse and forward and also batch action these are all different types of actions basically an event is an independent which we are not going to work with the task condition team members nothing we'll just create an event directly from the source menu i mean the menu main screen and we conduct the event with the supplier and we'll get the details. That event is finished, means finished. We will not have any more uh, access. If it is a project, it is a full project, then we need to follow all these steps. Basically, this is a independent. This is a quick way to conduct a task. Instead of, suppose you just want to, uh, there is a material X is available in your company. Now, there is, we already purchased this material X, 100 quantity, a random example I'm saying, 100 quantity. Now we need to purchase again. So we know the vendors, we know everything, and we're just creating one event. We just want to know the prices, RFP. We'll straight away go to project and create an RFP with the material X, with the following vendors, and we will publish the event. Once we get the responses, we will finish. We will not worry about all other things. Now we will show the difference in event itself. So you will have better understand in the UI. So when we go to UI, click on Ariba. create sourcing project. So this is how you create a sourcing project. Sourcing project. What I'm trying to source 
sourcing raw material this is the item i am searching enter the description copy from if there is an existing project i can select since we don't have we will be using uh, let's see good so i am using this project now here the question you will have what kind of project i am creating whether i am creating a full project or a quick project if i am selecting full project then i will be provided template once i select bar why this uh, doesn't help okay so once i select full project then i will have a templates available then i will be choosing what template i need to do suppose if i select quick project then i am provided with the options to select event type what kind of event this type so now i am selecting rfi rfp action and forward action for example i want to conduct an rfp i will select rfp this is a quick project test project no english language india bharat no such in fancy what happened looks like this server is refreshed Closing project. Yeah, it's coming down. No cancel. What had happened is create sourcing project. Sourcing raw material. Select space. Quick project. When I am selecting quick project, I am selecting RFP. The earlier why I am not getting is I have selected this project which we have created, which does not have any template relevance for here. That is the reason. So now I am not selecting. I am creating a new project, brand new. I am saying RFP. Then I am asked to select only one event template. So RFP test. I am selecting it. Create. so right now i am creating a quick project directly i am into the project scenario where i am building my rules my team here suppliers content summary so i am directly into the event now i am exiting now we will go back again return to dashboard now let's create a project sourcing project This is test. This is third one. Question: Project full. This is not a quick project. This will be full project. Then I this event type will be removed from here. You will see event type disappears. Project state is active. Test project no. And I am given the option to select any template. So let's select one standard template. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Let's select this closing project template. Click on create. Then you are provided with full project options where you will have overview, documents, task, team, event, history, everything. now i want to conduct an rfi or rfp from here i need to click on action create event what kind of event i want to create rfp create a new event new event from project selecting base language commodity event type here i am provided what kind of event i am conducting rfp i am conducting So I am selecting RFI event, whichever available default. Click create. Then you are taking to your event screen, like rules. Here you will see the team members are not available because in the previous screen we have got teams. 
here the team members are copied from the entire project so that is the reason you are seeing without team members so let's exit so return to project now you can see my event is available here new event edit change the name 